In the Danish port city of Kolding, young lovers Dennis and Lila receive an exciting package. I got mail. Yay! It's a very special order of balloons. <laughs> Dennis and Lila are having a party. Would you blow that up for me? Oh, yes. But there are no kids invited. Because for this couple, <laughs> balloon parties are a little different. It's just like toys, actually. Oh, yeah. That's mine. Do, do, do. <laughs> like all the people use swings and dildos. dildos. I can still do this. And all sorts of things. We can use balloons. 20 year old IT consultant Dennis and 21 year old design student Lila are part of a fetish subculture called Lunas. A Luna has a special interest for balloons. We use balloons as a uh, sexual aid and uh, we see balloons differently than most other people do. Fetish is a sexual attraction for something other than a normal sexual target. You might think folks who love balloons are a crazy minority, but you'd be wrong. There are up to 250,000 lunars worldwide. But why balloons? Balloons are brought out during special times, which would be one thing that would make it um, more likely to be a fetish object than something that you would see every single day. Part of the thing that makes a balloon a fetish, too, is the fact that it can look as though it's a sexual shape. <laughs> 